Hi. Nice to see you. I know, I know, there's a story behind that and I will share everything with you in a separate video soon. But today, let's get right into this tutorial because this one is super exciting. Everything has changed a lot, including post-production. AI tools nowadays can deliver top quality results without needing years of editing knowledge. So even if you're not a pro with traditional software, you can still get amazing and creative results fast. AI can now handle the slow and repetitive work that used to take hours. So now we can focus on what actually matters, like our creativity, choices and style so I want to show you what that looks like in action let's dive in the first thing I do is head over to add photos choose add folder and load in all my final renders so Luminar can create a clean catalog for them once you select the folder it automatically loads every image inside now you can see all my shots in one place you can switch between them zoom in and make sure everything looks good before you start editing one feature I mentioned in my render setup video is the upscaler. Just drag your shots into the upscaler, choose 2x, 4x or 6x, hit upscale and let it run for a few seconds. When it's done, it creates a new folder with all your upscaled versions. Zoom in and you will see how insanely fast and effective it is compared to rendering that resolution directly. It's not even comparable. And if the quality feels a little soft, don't worry, I will show you the sharpening tools in a minute. There are a ton of AI powered tools here that you can enhance your exterior shots. Let's start with presets. They are organized based on image type. Most of them are meant for photography, but if you actually work well for architectural rendering too, they help build a nice mood. Choosing presets is basically personal taste. It depends on the style you're after. Some will click immediately, some won't. It's all about experimenting. Alright, now let's get into the editing. Here are the main editing categories. Enhance AI is super straightforward. Increase the amount and it boosts the whole image or only the masked area. A sky Enhancer AI does exactly what it says, enhances the sky only. Here is the before and after. Next up is the Sky AI. This one lets you replace the sky entirely using their presets or your own sky photos. It takes seconds. It also gives you orientation and refinement controls to make everything blend naturally. Back in the day, I had to spend ages masking and grading the sky replacements. And now it's literally two clicks. We really spend part of our lives doing this manually, to be honest. One of my favorite and most important features is the noise. Increase the amount and it wipes out noise from your render. It might soften the image a bit, so under details, we can bring the sharpness back without reintroducing noise.
As you can see, the noise is gone, dark areas look cleaner, and all the important details return. The greenery looks sharper, and the wood panel on the facade looks crisp. Under the creative menu, my favorite tool is Mood. You can browse through lots and adjust the blend amount to get exactly the color tone you want. You can also load your own LUTs if you prefer. And under Professional tab, I fine-tune the warmth and the saturation to make the colors feel more natural. The split color warmth feature is great for adjusting warmth separately across different areas. My shot is already cropped, but if you need to, the AI crop tool does a good job finding a strong compositions. Just hit apply to confirm or go back to discard. In the edit tab, you can revisit any adjustments you have made, tweak them or remove them entirely. Here's a simple before and after. This is how quickly I enhance the shot. Once you're happy, save your preset and apply it to the rest of your shots for a consistent look. And finally, export the images by choosing your output quality and location. Here is the final output, done in a few minutes. This whole 3D art with project, from modeling all the way to post-production, is something I'm preparing for my upcoming Kickstarter campaign, so stay tuned for that. Alright guys, that's it for me, hope you enjoyed the video, see you soon, have fun!